The tiger gets a fright. Once upon a time, there was a tiger. He lived in the faraway forests of Korea. One day, the tiger was prowling the forest. He was hungry and looking for food, and would have loved a nice, juicy deer. But the tiger found no prey in the forest that day. So he wandered into the village at the edge of the forest. As the tiger was passing by a house, he heard a little boy crying. The boy sounded very upset about something. The tiger thought he had finally found food. He slipped in through the gate. He padded into the courtyard quietly, and crouched outside the window. There he sat silently on his haunches. Then, as he was about to spring, he heard the boy's grandmother talking to him. She said, "Hush! Don't cry so loudly." The nasty striped tiger will come and get you. This surprised the tiger. He thought he had crept in very quietly. Surely no one could have heard him. But it seemed that the boy's grandmother had. The little boy, however, paid no attention to his grandmother. He continued to wail loudly. The grandmother then said, "Now, little one, do stop crying. See." I have a dried persimmon here. The child stopped crying at once. The tiger was so astonished that he stopped mid-spring. The old woman told the boy a tiger would get him, but the boy had paid no heed. Yet a dried persimmon stopped his crying at once. So this dried persimmon must be something very frightful, reasoned the tiger. I better leave before this dreadful thing catches me, he thought. And he turned around to slip away quietly. That very moment, a thief broke into the house. His plan was to steal the cow in the yard. It was a dark night. The thief couldn't see clearly. He just saw the shape of an animal and thought it was the cow. He firmly grabbed the tail and pulled it hard. He did not realize that it was the tiger's tail. The tiger was already worried about the dried persimmon. Now he was sure. That this fierce creature had caught hold of his tail, the tiger was so scared that he jumped over the gate and started running towards the forest at full speed, trying to escape the persimmon. The thief too was terrified. He now knew that he had caught hold of a tiger, not a cow, but he was too scared to let go. He thought the tiger would turn around and eat him, so he held on in terror. As the tiger streaked across the countryside, finally the thief could hang on no longer, let go of the tiger's tail, and fell by the wayside. Still, the tiger did not stop running. He did not look back to see what it was that had held him by the tail. He ran and ran till he was very, very far away from the village. Finally, when he was sure that the fierce persimmon could no longer get him. He stopped.